Another way too, believe it or not, is bundling. You know, when you've got those those things that you're on the cusp of being like, wow, this profit margin is 10% and that's just not enough wiggle room. Now you have an opportunity to take that same product and bundle it with something that's very complimentary. And now that you could have a 20% margin this is what we do on every single unit item that we have we bundle everything yeah. because um, you know some products sell really well but there's just not enough meat on the bone for it to make sense so we uh-huh. what well, i add the meat to the bone <laughs> you yeah. know but you can you can definitely up the customer experience by adding a couple of products and i'm not talking about you know like i just literally bought <laughs> I'm always buying stuff from Amazon. The truck is here literally every day. It's just, it is what it is. Um, But as like, we just ordered something that came with literally my husband's like, what is this? We ordered coffee filters and it came Uh with some sort of like tissue pack or something that had this (laughs) company's brand on it. And I'm like, oh, this is like bundle gone wrong. Like, that's not what we're talking about. That's not how we do this. (laughs) We don't just throw sticky notes or some sort of something (laughs) to make make a bundle. But the idea here is creating that value for the customer, whether it's an an instruction sheet, maybe it's a, a a how to guide, you know, or, you know, those are like some basics, but I mean, talking about product, you know, Mm-hmm. You can yeah. always put more meat on the bone by adding a product that enhances something with that. Mm-hmm. So, 